Well, it's the Ruske run the place. We had, uh, at the most, there is barracks for 300 people with canteen. We had airfield with uh, yearly 35,000 passengers, a power plant, workshop, storage. The concept is to, to try to make, let the nature take it back or unmake nature itself. That means uh, let creeks run freely, uh, let the, make sure that avalanches do happen because that will transport more of the, of the uh, sediments down, it will make new creeks. We're standing in the middle of a, a, uh, a, a, a river fan now uh, from the valley back behind us. We want that uh, flood of, of, of uh, water, snow and rock come down and, and make the new landscape. This is actually the largest nature restoration project uh, to date. Uh, we are committed to preserving as much as we can of the wilderness nature of uh, Svalbard. And uh, when we have used an area for industrial activities and do not use it any longer, we think that uh, these days we need to try to restore back to nature uh, the area as it originally was. Just what you see here is a result of a very heavy rainfall that was uh, last summer uh, when you got uh, maybe 50-60 millimeters of rain in just 24 hours which was very unusual uh, before climate change uh, started uh, changing the climate up here. Down the hillsides you get much more sediment start moving and the small creeks getting more like rivers during, uh, during the heavy rains and you can see the result here behind me with this uh, crevice-like uh, uh, ravine uh, created in, in the hillsides. So this is a, a process that transformed the landscape here in, in, in Svalbard.